around the country, including right here in Washington state, took to the streets today to protest the drone attack that killed Iran's top general. President Trump ordered the strike at an airport in Iraq on Thursday. Today, he warned Iran not to retaliate against the U.S. over the death of a Iranian general, Qasem Soleimani. The Secretary of State says the general was planning attacks that would kill Americans, but he did not provide details about the threat. The decision that President Trump made to take Qasem Soleimani down saved American lives. While a number of Republican lawmakers have applauded the strike, many Democrats say that Congress should have been alerted. It wasn't until today that the White House sent Congress formal notification under the War Powers Act. Cameras Heavens Michael Spears is live in Seattle where anti-war protesters took to the streets. And Michael, they were not alone. Joined by protesters in cities around the United States. Organizers estimate several hundred demonstrators met at this very busy park that is right here near Pike Place Market today to spread their message. And from here, they marched their message through the streets of downtown. Their message delivered by instrument. Carried through song. Signs. We can't stop here. And chants. No justice, no peace. Hundreds of demonstrators marched 4th Avenue in downtown Seattle. Where they met a wall of police officers near Westlake Park before turning back to the park near Pike Place Market. Humanity first! Humanity first! Where the anti war protests began earlier Saturday to condemn the U.S. drone strike that killed Iran's top security commander. As an Iranian American, my heart breaks for both my communities. Nilo Genjai said war with Iran, where she still has family, has been a fear of hers for years. I was shocked he did not get approval from Congress, and the sins of Soleimani aside, it was an absolutely reckless decision on his part that's put a lot of people in danger and is propelling the U.S. towards a war with Iran and continuing wars across the Middle East. Demonstrators here join crowds of protesters across the U.S. Saturday no more wars. When do we in cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York City, all with the same anti-war message. You can change the people with the love and respect, but you can make more enemies with the hate and bombing. Now, campaign officials are defending President Trump, claiming his actions have made the world safer. And today, the president himself tweeted a warning that the U.S. already has targets lined up if Iran chooses to retaliate. Reporting live in downtown Seattle, I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.